I'm Fred, the team principal and the CEO of the team, and I'm very pleased to welcome you on track. We are delighted to be collaborating with Zadara as our official cloud supplier. Data plays a vital role in our success as an F1 team, especially being able to make data-driven decisions in a near real time. We depend on our cloud technology partnership with Zadara to deliver performance and enough track by ensuring access to the right data where we need it at the right time. Hello Zadara, um, this is for you. I'm uh, looking forward to meet you all next year on the track in the better uh, circumstances and uh, uh, wish you all the best. Going through 23 races uh, where you know uh, the car is not where you would like it to be in terms of performance and, and, and not necessarily um, questioning the decision that was made at the start because it's always very tempting to say yeah, we could invest and, and try to uh, develop more performance for the ongoing season but the price for next year's car would have been far too high so uh, let's say keeping your nerves because we are effectively on a sporting point of view we're not happy with the actual season. Um, so that was probably the, the main challenge to, uh, to keep the team together and, uh, and, and know that we would go through pain for, for one season in the hopes that next year it will, it will pay off. Nonetheless, not developing the car doesn't mean we are, we are not doing anything on it. Uh, the car has a potential, uh, like every car. And then it's about making sure the guys at, uh, at the track, supported by the people at the factory, are uh, extracting that potential, irrelevant or high or low the potential is, but extracting that potential every weekend and, uh, and trying to get the best out of what we can do for, uh, with, uh, with this car. So this has been uh, keeping us nonetheless quite busy because uh, different tracks, different tra track conditions, different tires, it is not that straightforward to always uh, extract the potential of the car. And I think we've made some very good progress on, on that matter this year. Uh, the benefits are obvious. Uh, we're starting very early and having the entire crew, we, have, we are still a small team and then have limited resource, means you, uh, everything that needs to be done, we, we, we have enough resources and are not necessarily forced to, uh, to do shortcuts that would cost uh, us performance next season. So it's, it's quite obvious, spending all, all our wind tunnel runs, um, all our CFD runs and, and all the people here concentrating on what we hope will be a breakthrough car for us uh, next season. Uh, the benefits are, are endless. Uh, people are focused on one topic uh, and, and, and are, have much less sources of um, of uh, being dragged away uh, on another car or on other issues. The risks, uh, the risks are you pay a relatively high price during the actual season because again uh, we it's not satisfying the, the, the sporting results this year. Uh, that is a risk that the team has to uh, was aware of and, and goes uh, goes through. Um, apart from that, risks, I don't see that many because uh, next year, so the 2022 car are such a departure, um, the more time we will have been able to think about um, next year's car, but also the, the issues we are quite likely to have with the new tyres, with, with the new aerodynamics. Normally, the better prepared we should be. And it's not about, uh, it's, at the end of the day, it's, it's not about finding the optimum. All the teams will find the optimum. It's finding it way earlier than the others and have a head start advantage. So I'm not saying massive uh, or a lot of, um, of, uh, of risk effectively. A lot, a lot. 
think there are 500 people working very hard um, since now uh, almost a year to uh, to put ourselves in another um, position because we do not our car does not deserve where it currently is it's a, it's a complex uh, sum of several factors from the car from the engine the drivers etc uh, and we are working on all those topics to make sure that uh, that the new the first season of a new era uh, which formula one will enter um, will be uh, will be an opportunity for us to show that uh, we we can do uh, and we will do much better than than we have uh, had uh, this season and the last uh, last season during which we've been carrying let's say some uh, uh, deficit we had uh, already since uh, since the start of uh, the regs, which were 2017. So, it's really for us the the monster opportunity to uh, demonstrate uh, you can do also very quick car in Switzerland.